How do you design your engines and your rocket? For the engine part, we uh, have a whole team. They do a hybrid engine, like we said before. And uh, for the motors that we are bringing to Aeroc this year and, le- and we brought last year, we take uh, Cesaroni or Aerotech uh, uh, motors that are bought from uh, America and Canada, are uh, uh, brought here in Europe, uh, and uh, we use them uh, just mounting them. And uh, for the rocket, uh, the shape is uh, chosen by the aerodynamics and the mission analysis team. And uh, what we work on especially is uh, the nose cone, which is optimized in order to uh, have less and less drag, and uh, the fins. On the fins especially, we have uh, a lot of requirements from Euroc because we need to have a stability, but uh, it, they must not uh, make the rocket follow too much the uh, the wind given stability, so they can't be super stable. And uh, also you can see how in this image, uh, uh, you can see how uh, there's a uh, aluminum uh, point at the end of the uh, nose cone. And uh, it is because we go near to Mach 1 and we could start having problems, but also it is done because uh, uh, when you work on carbon fiber, and the fibers in general, a bit of matrix can uh, uh, have problems into the pointy part. And so we, we decide to have a better shape uh, by using uh, metal on that point. And for the rest of the rocket, we uh, try to make it as smooth as possible and without uh, having uh, much uh, uh, different things in, uh, that uh, can create a drag. But uh, there's always a uh, uh, some imperfection, of course. Later, we send a rocket to our sponsor, and sometimes we go and help him too. And uh, one of our sponsors uh, from years and years, uh, uh, he works on a Formula 2 cars uh, or a speedboat racing, and he loves to make our uh, uh, paint on the rocket, uh, and he is very good because uh, the uh, the painting wakes uh, kind of nothing. So we really, we really love him for this. And he has all, he is also a, an artist. So it's always uh, very cool colors and uh, very cool uh, images on the, on the rockets. Yeah, we never know exactly how the rocket is going to turn out. Um, but the, it's always a surprise. And uh, for example, last year we had this rocket called Lynx and it's named after one of the modern constellations. And uh, this partner of ours, he uh, did us this surprise of designing the constellation on the rocket. And uh, that was very sweet and we all liked it so much.